So Wuthering Waves got released globally and oh my god, the fandom are crazy. Now I'm really interested about this topic. The reaction of both fandoms are really interesting to say. The thing I love about this is the Wuwa fandom is very fair to say. Now me personally, I like both games. I think both games have disadvantages and advantages, but I'm not here to talk about that maybe on another video, but some criticism are really weird. There's this post that I want to talk about, about people who are comparing Wuwa and Genshin, and I want to share with you guys today. So this post is comparing the new dragon guy, the, the dragon guy from Wuwa, I forgot his name, to Diluc. Now this comparison clearly doesn't work. You're comparing a really new model from a different game made from a game engine that specialized in making the games look realistic to one of the worst models in the other game. Let me get this clear, I do think the dragon guy looks cool. Yeah, his models and effects look really cool. And does the look model look like ass? Yeah, it does. But they're from two different games with different styles and graphics. There's this comment from a person, I won't show you the name because of harassment problems, but this is what it says. Okay, but since Wuwa just released their models are better than Genshin release models, and don't say that Genshin doesn't have reference since they had Honkai Impact 3rd before, even though they don't have male models. First off, you're talking about a male character? And let's compare Diluc to a female release character. For example, Jean. Jean's model even to this day looks decent compared to the newer female models. Jean's, Jean doesn't look bad. And even on the release, people had problems with how Diluc looked. If you compare how Diluc looks back then to the male characters look now, it can't even be compared. And to say that both are from release, that doesn't make sense. If Genshin and Wuwa release at the same time, then you can make that argument. But g game development and graphics has come a long way since 4 years ago. And we're talking 4 years by the way. Genshin was released in 2020. Let me fact check that. 28 September 2020. That's 4 years ago guys. So in my opinion, it's not comparable. Wuwa is made in Unreal Engine 4, which specializes in, in making the game look more realistic, giving it a better graphics overall with better model sculpting too. Meanwhile, Genshin uses Unity Game Engine, which specializes in making a more lighthearted cartoony game graphics. So these two games graphics can't be compared to each other. And to top it all off, Honkai Impact 3rd is a mobile game. The PC versions are just emulation from the mobile version and the steam version didn't came out a year after Genshin's release. The early female models of Genshin looks good. Even the 4 stars like Lisa, Beidou, Ningguang, they look good and they never worked on a male model before. The only male model they had was a recent in the story which is Kevin and whenever the Elysian realm was made. And to say that Genshin doesn't improve their male models either after Diluc is hella weird. Zhongli's model is one of the most stunning early Genshin male models. And now with Riot Slay, Noi Villette, Al Haitam, Diluc can only dream of being as good looking as them in game. But to say that you expect this graphics to translate to this? How? But that is it guys, that's all I want to talk about here honestly, this one really ruffled up my feathers. I never hated Wuwa as a game, the only thing I hate is their fandom that would place all rational and common sense to make their game look superior than the other. But that's pretty much it, I hope I told you something here like clearly and yeah, see you guys next time where I would probably review Wuwa. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.